Neighborhoods here in New Jersey have changed a lot over the decades, especially with the arrival of more immigrants, and that means more food options. <laughs> in News 12's Brian Donahue visits an old beloved restaurant in Kearney that is getting new life. For decades, whenever I found myself headed to the town of Kearney for a story, one glorious thought would immediately come to mind. I'm having fish and chips for lunch. Yeah, Kearney has long been famous for the dish, thanks to restaurants like The Thistle, which opened to cater to the Scottish and Irish families who came to work in local mills in the first half of the 20th century. But in January 2020, after years of demographic change fueled by an influx of Hispanic families, the Argyle, Kearney's last fish and chips restaurant, closed down. Business was not, it wasn't that great. Joan Nisbet arrived from Northern Ireland a half century ago, went straight to the Argyle for fish and chips and also to buy the sausages and HP sauce her homesick taste buds craved. In 1982, she and her late husband John and two friends bought the place. My husband played the bagpipes on Friday nights occasionally, you know, so that brought a lot of people in as well. They ran it until the day they sold two years ago. We were all getting a little bit older. We don't admit it, but we are. <laughs> but in the old home of the Argyle, there's new life as history repeats itself in delicious fashion. A year ago, Jose Garcia opened Casa de Ceviche, a bustling Peruvian barbecue and seafood restaurant still serving taste of the old country, just a different one. What did you like better? Did you like the fish and chips place or the ceviche place better? Wow, that's a tough question because fish and chips was great, but the, the only thing is that it was the same thing. Yeah, this is different. You're saying this is a different every week. Garcia, who studied astronomy in Peru, immigrated 22 years ago, worked five years in a Newark shirt factory before opening his first restaurant. His English isn't great, so he lets the food do the talking. The house of ceviche is packed on weekends, just like the Argyle once was. And just like Joan Nisbet would come for taste of her native country, Benjamin Maraquin comes for the lomo saltado and fried rice that reminds him of mom's cooking. You know, when I'm going to eat in that place, we feel, you know, near to my home, to my family, to my friends. Joan Nesbitt and her son Colin still run their kilt rental and bagpipe shops on either side of the place. Their three storefronts, a snapshot of how this town, so many others in America really, remakes itself over and over. And a happy reminder that my stomach has a new cause for joy whenever I'm headed to Kearney. Wow. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey.